This is 10 Tampa Bay. I'm Dave Wagner. And I'm Carolina Lead. First, a sleepover at a friend's house turns deadly. Yeah, Lakeland police say a 12-year-old boy died after an accidental shooting. Tonight, 10 Tampa Bay's Megan Myers found out what we could see happen next. People that buy a gun for the first time, Sometimes they buy the gun, they're not used to having a firearm. Carlos Oliva has been teaching gun safety classes for six years. He says oftentimes when accidental shootings happen, it's because guns are not being stored properly. Still, you take a class, you know, we beg people to take a class because that's how they're going to learn how to use the firearm. I keep it safe. That's what Lakeland police say happened over the weekend. The boy went to his 13 year old friend's house and police say that teen's parents were not home at the time. The kids found a loaded handgun inside a car parked in the garage. They say the 12 year old accidentally shot himself. But do the gun's owners have liability in this situation? Charles Gallagher with Gallagher and Associates law firm says he believes the answer is yes. If that gun was not properly secured, and in Florida there's a statute that mandates the safe storage of handguns, there's certainly liability there in terms of the owner of the gun, uh, and, and probably likely a liability as for a property owner who allows there to be a gun on their property that's not safely and securely stored. And that's not all. Beyond that, you're, you're going to have civil liability, certainly. Um, if someone wanted to bring an action for money damages against that uh, person, uh, you'd have clear liability, I believe, uh, as far as not ke keeping that store appropriately and having that in an open and obvious place where someone can get it, a child can get it, and handle it and use it. Police say the 12 year old's mom said she believed his friend's parents were home, but those parents told police they didn't know their son was having anyone over while they were at work. Megan Myers, 10 Tampa Bay. Now, we did reach out to Lakeland Police this morning and again about an hour ago for an update on the investigation. At this hour, we have not heard back.